morning, the ending of Jekyll and Hyde is rather sad and quite dark ending to this tale. So I'd like to warn everyone who is sensitive to dark themes to please, please not watch my video and watch some of my more lighthearted content. However, if you do choose to proceed, please proceed with caution. I've tried to make this as heart-lighted as I can. And I would also like to applaud the Mads Moon crew for making it not as dark as it could have been. Not even close. And so I do incredibly applaud them for that. In case a younger person might have come across this game and started to play it. However, as I said before, this issue is still kind of dark. Even if they didn't make it quite as dark as it could have been. I'd like to warn all of you to proceed with caution. You have been warned. Hello, Dragonlance on the internet, Dragon Boy One here, and today we are going to do the final one, final. Finally, it's the final episode. Comment down below to see how many times I said "final" in the <laughs> in this video. <laughs> I bet I said a bunch. Fun now, finally, this is going to be the final for this um series. Finally. <laughs> Okay, all seriousness, um, I didn't get really much response on my last video on if I should bring J&H back. And so I'm gonna bring them back anyway for this final because, you know, it is their story or told by Robert Louis Stevenson anyway. Which, as I said before, you may be confused why it is tied to my books at all if, you, if you're into the series at all. Mine in particular called Father Jack Eye. I'm not self-promoting or anything. I'm just bringing you up to um, bring you up to speed. And again, I said I will explain how Jiggle is. Well, you will see. But first of all, let's invite our guest. Hello, Jekyll. Hello, Hyde. How are you doing? Oh, actually, I did quite well in in the lab today. I I got a lot of work done, and I just stood there doing nothing. Oh yes, of course you did. You, you are the um, you are the king of nothing. <laughs> did you just make a joke about me and laughed about it? Uh, I'm so proud of you. What do we have to do today? I'm um, dragon. Oh, I'm glad you asked, Jekyll. We are going to see the finale of your story, told by Robert Louis Stevenson's angle, if you will, because he didn't have much information about you, anyways. So. So here, here we go. Let's go into the madness once again. Indeed. Now. One, two, three, continue. And we're going to see what happened to you. Uh, by the way, short warning. I really hope they deal with this really lightly. But what happens to Jekyll and Hyde is a pretty dark thing, actually. Um, which is why I made a series! That made it lighter, kind of. Yes, that made it lighter. So other people don't have to go through this thing. But I probably put a warning at the beginning of the video, warning people about it, but if you have heeded my warning, either A, click off of this video now if you're sensitive to dark themes, because I don't want to be responsible for any nightmares. I'm sure Jekyll knows all about that. Oh yes, please, please do not. Please do not get nightmares or hallucinations or any of that stuff. It's it's awful. It really is awful. Well, no, don't put your two cents in, Hyde. I know what you're going to say. And if you do, please, please don't subject yourself to that. I don't. We don't want you to get scared after all. And if you do, please, please proceed with caution. If you don't mind, I don't. Again, I don't. We don't want to be responsible for anything. All right, whatever. All right. March 1887, Dr. Jekyll's lab. By the way, I, I really like how, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You turned into me in the last episode. That's right. And I ran out of the salt, which means I can't turn back. Oh, that's just fabulous. I'm just there and I can't do a thing about it. I'm, I'm okay. Everything is useless. I don't have any more time to explain. Oh, that's right, this, this is, um, this is through the letter. Oh, yes, indeed, that is correct. Oh, uh, oh, uh, my, uh, I need to check on my, um, 
my pet rock. Yeah, that's right. I need to take on my pet rock and then I need to make some toast. Uh, so I'll be right, so I'll, I'll be right back. No, where you go? Oh, no, I'll, I'll be right back. Y'all have fun, okay? Uh, bye. Yeah, is it just me or do I have the feeling that she's ditching us on purpose? Um, I am... Yeah, I think I have that feeling too. Anyways, I think she would want us to continue, so start. Oh, look at you grinning. Oh, that is so sick. That is so sick. I... Oh, come on. Come on, pick yourself up, Jekyll. Let's go. <laughs> There's no more medicine. It's the end. The end. Darn medicine, darn salt. Good grief, Hyde. You seem to be quite the cusser in this version. Well, I probably would be a cusser if you didn't have your clean mouth standards. And why would that make you mad? Oh, it doesn't, really. I've gotten used to it by now. Why must it end like this? Last time I went out, I was almost caught. I left my mask behind the living room, dang it. Oh, darn it. Footsteps. Yes, I think I know that it is. It's not isn't it? I can hear footsteps. Who is it? I don't think it's a salt delivery. Pool? Is it the police? Darn it, I'm so anxious. Who is there? Who are you? Oh, it's Pool. It is Pool. That's right, he knocked on my door. Master, Mr. Addison would like to see you. Uh, tell him that I can't see you on right now. Understood, Master. Yeah. Once Mr. Hyde was almost caught when he left the lab while wearing a mask. That's right, he didn't... He didn't go... He didn't... He didn't go back out to, um, get it, did he? No, he didn't. Well... Darn, is he... Oh, Hyde, sorry. This is in your voice. I'm sorry, I forgot. No problem. It's fine. It's not like you forgot about my existence for like five seconds. Well, if I really had the choice, I would. What did you say? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Yes, yes, whatever, Jekyll. You know, you're a bigger liar than you think you are. Now stop talking about my personal issues and please get on with the story. My pleasure. Darn, is he gone now? He, <laughs> he. He didn't bring the police, did he? <laughs> that would be very bad for me. Wh who's there? Holy crap, I am anxious. Good grief, I'm even more anxious than usual. Uh, Jekyll? Oh, holy crap, no. I remain silent. <laughs> I have the right to remain silent in the court of law. <laughs> Why won't you answer me? If you refuse to see me, I'll be forced to take action. I'll break down the door. Yeah. Addison, please don't. Oh, that isn't Jekyll's voice, voice Mr. Hyde. Break down the door, Paul. No, please don't. Please don't, I'm caught in my underwear. I really don't want you to see. I'm barely dressed. Addison. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Well, obviously, I don't want to get caught. Who wants to get caught in this condition? I mean, come on! This is literally like, as you said before, being seen with your pants down. I mean, come on! This is like um, split personalities when you switch. People, I've heard people said before that it's like exposing yourself. It's very embarrassing and very bad. No, 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 I, I can't explain. I can't explain everything. Please, is this how my life ends? No, there's another way. Like someone said, it's time to let go of myself. Uh, <laughs> Robert, Lewis, why did you have to make it this dark and this sad? 
I was doomed for the moment I decided to do this experiment. Well, you're right about that. Come on, I have someone literally right here that talks to me every single day and whispers in my ear and tells me how wrong I am and blah, blah, blah. Well, you could say I'm a conscience that you never have. Mm. But at the end, I will not fail. Well, how is this not failing? I'll end it myself. Huh? Who is it? Okay, come on. Are you really gonna make me do this? Yes, I'm afraid so, Hyde. This is how Robert Louis Stevenson's perception of my tale ends. You'll have to do it. Darn it! I don't know how long the lock will last. I should hurry. Take it in from the first. Are you serious? Apparently, I lock away my poisons. <laughs> The first two numbers are the eighth and six. Oh! Oh, I got it! I got it! Do you have it? Yes, I have it! The eighth and six numbers of this formula. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight, which means four, nine. I got it. Four and nine. Well, darn it. The six and eighth. Wait, did it say six and eighth? The first two numbers are the eighth. Oh, eighth and six numbers. My apologies. Which means it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means these two numbers would be switched. Yes, it's finally open. Yes. Finally, your actual brains came in handy. Hmm. It's open. Oh, it was here. This should be enough. Hudson, you soon open the door. Is this what I have done all of this for? <laughs> Don, what are you waiting for, Henry Jekyll? What are you afraid of? Well, pain for one. Um, I'm afraid of you, or at least I was. I'm afraid of what you're doing. I don't want to die. There's several reasons. Your fate has already been determined. You know, I find it funny that I'm the evil counterpart and yet I'm the one that kill you. <laughs> Unknowingly that it kills both of us, maybe. Or maybe I didn't know, I don't know. It's almost broken, let's give it a push. We can't wait anymore. This is the end of Jekyll. I have a feeling I had some glee, apparently, in that, like, yes, he is destroyed, but, but, he comes at a price. If Jekyll has to go, I have to go too. We can finally uncover this mystery. Mr. Hyde or Dr. Jekyll, whichever it is, I really don't know, neither do I, decided to commit Ooh. in the end. Because either I didn't want to get caught or I was really that desperate. Now the mystery will be explained. I see. Jekyll, you fool. But I understand the choice you made. I'm sure you had no other way. Since you experimented on yourself, you could probably tell that your control was growing more erratic. At one point, you could probably no longer control the transformation with the medicine and your will of power. Well, I did for a while. In the end, you couldn't return to yourself, Jekyll. 
I became something other than myself. And you, Mr. Hyde, could not be divided. I don't know the scientific aspect of it, but it means that you had worked on it for so long to fight the good and evil was in vain. And that left you only hollowness and death. And depression. Um, I have crippling depression. You must have been frustrated. Oh yes, I was frustrated. And how much more was it with this thing blaring it out in my head of how much of a failure I was? Hey! And the reason you refused to see us, and you locked yourself up in your room, and you took such extreme measures. I understand everything is now over now, Jekyll. <sighs> There's only one thing I can do now, and that is, people will soon hear that Jekyll would disappear. What you, th what you think when I, what did you think when I broke down the door? I'm sure my interest brought you no pleasure. Oh, it brought him no pleasure whatsoever. In fact, it brought fear. You probably made the medicine to free yourself, but Jekyll and Miss Tide couldn't be free from each other. And you couldn't help but keep trying, even though you knew. This is frustrating, so frustrating. So you died as Jekyll and the body of Mr. Hyde? You couldn't even end your life on your own terms. <laughs> That's a little funny, <laughs> I guess. The point is, you couldn't even die. I had to kill us. And that is rather funny. I couldn't even bring myself to do it. I shall never return to your mansion. No wonder the memory of me and Mr. Hyde haunts the place. No one will know the truth. Farewell, Jekyll. Farewell, Anion. May you both rest in peace. Oh, that's right, good no farewell. <laughs> Apparently, Addison has no... Addison has no pity for you. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is quite striking. Wow, that is beautiful. And it has fire. I love it. Uh, yes, I thought you would like the fire. We get one more scene from this. Delivery boy, what do you have? Knock, knock, knock. Let me in. By the end of your chinny chin chin. Welcome. It's been a while, that's fragile, so set it down carefully. Ha, <laughs> this is your tip. Thank you, any good news? Good news, of course! <laughs> Guess what? Your experiment has succeeded? <laughs> That's right! I really don't like my laugh. <laughs> it sounds more like me. Maybe I'm peeking through. Do you remember the salt I ordered in bulk last time? That was the last ingredient I needed for the medicine. The medicine to divide the two egos. <laughs> it's, re it's really an extraordinary discovery. I made it. I did it. Amazing, Doctor. The experiment is perfect theoretically. So now I need to test it. Oh, I have some of the mixture left over. I'll show you. Look, this is the first sample. Isn't it beautiful? It's the fruit of great research. The miracle of finding good and evil lies within this bottle. With this, I... I mean, men shall be free. My experiment was successful. <laughs> oh man, the end. How wrong and yet how right I was. Wait, do we get credit? <gasps> Project number two, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Game designer grown seeds. It. How lovely! How lovely! Oh my gosh, how lovely! Well, this was an adventure to say the least. 
This was marvelous. This actually was quite interesting to see Robertson's translation of everything. I mean, I think he did kind of well not really seeing what what was happening behind the scenes and all. I mean, he did jump to a conclusion, quite a big conclusion, and no wonder I kind of made it seem like that was a worthy conclusion to the end of my... Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. Go to the main menu. Ah, here we are. Oh, wonderful. Here we are. Look at this. We have everything unlocked. Lovely. Now, the game started over. Started over from the very beginning. A very good place to start. Well, this was certainly a... A heart squeezing experience. Heart squeezing? What is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, actually. Hey, guys. Did you have fun? Oh, actually, we... Depending on how dark this is, we actually had quite a bit of fun, actually. So did I. It was actually rather quaint. Well, being that it was so stinking dark, I'm surprised you actually had a good time. I surprise myself every day. This does not surprise me, trust me. I get more surprising things each and every day. <laughs> Hyde is a prime example. <laughs> well, Dragons on the internet, I hope you enjoyed this little series. And I would like to thank Subject Name here for suggesting this game to me. I did, had no idea that this game existed until about a week ago. And I was so hyped just because I've been in this fandom for like three years. <laughs> And you usually don't get something new, and th so this was really exciting for me. I enjoyed this game. The everything was so beautiful. I agree, actually. It was rather marvelous. The the backgrounds, the animation, the artwork. It was stunning. Stunning as always. My favorite is the one where I'm staring at a sit down. Yes, of course, that would be your favorite. It's the one with you in it. Precisely. <laughs> Of course, that would be your favorite, you proud little arrogant little bloke. Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> okay, boys, calm down. The point is, I would like to thank, also, Masmum for making this wonderful game. As Jekyll and Hyde have very clearly stated, the animation, the artwork, the everything was beautiful. And I would... L and I would like to compliment them very, very, very hard on dealing with this story and dealing it in somewhat of a family-friendly um, situation. They could have 100% made, like when Jekyll was getting Sir Denver's crew, gory and bloody. They could have totally made Hyde's death this dramatic, horrifying-looking thing. They could have made the girl that was being trampled on. They could have made the um the fight between Hyde and the other gentleman completely gory. But they didn't. And I praise them for I praise them for actually making it somewhat family friendly. Even though what happens to Dr. J uh, to Hyde is quite uh, kind of dark. I'm glad they made it less dark by making it not by making it not as realistic as possible. By, by still keeping it kind of cartoony and sort of lighthearted, even in the darkest of times. And I really do respect them for that. Anyway, as you can see, Jekyll and Hyde and I had a marvelous time, didn't we? Indeed. Absolutely. And I hope to see you both very, very soon. Wink, wink. <laughs> well, yes, I hope to see you soon as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I hope to see you soon too. And again, as I said before, I hope I hope all of you Dragolets out there enjoyed this series, this episode, this everything, and I'm glad that this had a nice little turnout. Now, as I said before, 
in the last video, I'm going to make a separate video centering on how the two worlds are connected. I'm going to make a confrontation cover with these two big battles. Of course, with my own versions of Jekyll and Hyde, but with their voices and everything, which is something I've been itching to do ever since I got into the fandom and I made Father Jack Hyde. I have been itching to do it, but I've never been able to get it right. So hopefully this time I will get it right and it will be amazing. And also I plan to post a speed paint with Ma Masmum's Jekyll and Hyde, which hilariously I drew before I even did the series. When I found out about the series, I was doing like research about it and blah blah blah. And oh, another tip to subject name here. She gave she gave me tips on what to do, where to find things. Um, and I would like to eternally thank her for that because I would not ha have figured out some of the stuff on my own. And so I thank her a lot for that. And so that is my last farewell. And I hope you all have a marvelous day. Drag a pony one out. Come on, Jekyll and I. Say your farewells. Drag a pony one out. Jekyll out. Hide out. Goodbye. And have a lovely day.